Hey, boys and girls, welcome to the Crafty Corner. I'm Miss Lisa here at the Fayette County Public Library. We have started our summer reading program, and it's called Tales and Tales. And so today we are starting animal crafts that all have a tail. And so our first craft is this cute little button turtle. So if you come to the library and get a packet, in your packet will be the turtle template, the blue background, a bag full of buttons and wiggly eyes. The only things that you're going to need to supply for your home is a pair of scissors, some glue, and some markers. Really all you need is a good juicy green marker, kind of black maybe to draw on the face. So how do you do this craft? Well, it's very simple. You take your template and your nice green juicy marker and you're going to want to color it. Now I suggest that you just color straight across and as you can see I am coloring way outside of the lines but that's okay because you're going to cut it out. So if you can just make big broad strokes all the way across then you don't have little scribbly lines and it just makes the turtle look neater, okay? And so you're just gonna keep going and it doesn't matter if you go outside the lines because you're gonna cut it out, okay? And so you're just gonna keep going and keep going and my marker is not getting as juicy as it used to be because I've used it a lot. All right, so you get the idea. So once you have your turtle all cut or all colored, you are going to wanna cut it out. And I would suggest that you cut right along that black edge line, okay? Um, and it doesn't, have to show you can cut it a little better if you want. You have to decide where on your paper you want your turtle. Do you want him sort of swimming off in that direction or this direction or just swimming straight ahead? Uh, straight ahead? Once you've decided, I'm going to turn mine a little bit, take your glue and remember we scribble our glue on the back and if you have a glue stick that would work too. Okay, always get the edges of your paper when you are gluing. I'm going to turn our turtle over I'm going to glue him right there. And you could even glue him so that he's off the page a little bit. That would be cool. All right. And once he's glued down, now you get to decide how creative you want to be with the buttons. So we have given you quite a few buttons of all different colors. And you're just going to have to decide where you want them placed. Okay. I've got a bunch of turtle books here behind me and you know that oftentimes turtles have a shell that's ridged and has different compartments and so if you wanted to you could draw those in here and put a button in each compartment or you can do like I did and start with the biggest button and then sort of just lay them out and around until you fill up most of the little turtles back okay so it's totally up to you where you want to use your buttons. Now you should have some clear white ones in there. Okay, some of these little guys to make a little um, bubble. Okay, so we can make some little bubbles coming off the little turtle's uh, mouth there. And that looks pretty good. Once you've got it all situated, then all you have to do is glue them down. So I'm gonna go ahead and put two dots right here for both of the eyes. Pick that eye up, have my little cute little wiggly eyes. And then you're just gonna put the dots of glue where you want your buttons. And remember, once you have this all glued, you can't really pick it up and hang it yet because you're gonna want that glue to settle so that the buttons don't fall off, okay? So we're just going to glue our buttons right on our turtle's back. Okay, and boys and girls, there are all kinds of turtles even here in Indiana, if you go to a pond, go down to the lake, you might be able to see some turtles. None of them are going to be as colorful as the one you're making today. But turtles are pretty neat little critters that live in the water. All right. Once you get all of those buttons on, you could take a marker and draw in some seaweed or make some ocean waves. You could draw other little fish next to it. This is a project that is so creative, you can do whatever you want. Okay, and make this little turtle very different from mine. All right, I think I got them all. Maybe I shake it a little bit. Yep, it looks like I've got them all. Now, I'm just gonna draw a cute little mouth right here, a little smile. And that's basically it, boys and girls. A very simple craft today. Um, this is called the Button Turtle. Come on down to the library and get a packet. I'll see you soon. I'm Miss Lisa here at the Fayette County Public Library.